this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will achieve success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. that the Lord Jesus blesses you and keeps you all the days of your life. Your precious life. Your precious life. Because your life is precious to Him. And your life is precious. You have purpose. You weren't created for nothing. You have purpose in Christ. So, we are going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat today, and I wanted to talk about Bibles, Bibles, by the way, I just read, that was Joshua chapter 1. Verse 8, in case you don't know. So, for the past, I want to say two weeks, maybe three weeks, I have been searching for a different translation to read. I have been um, reading from the New Living translation and I love it the one before that I had when I was like not even a teenager maybe 10 years old 9 years old um, I had a another blue one by Precious Moments and um, I the first scripture that I read from there was Psalms 23 and that's all I really knew from childhood that's the only Bible verse that I knew the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside peaceful streams yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will not fear I believe it says for your rod and your staff Maybe I'm skipping or missing a verse or two. You prepare a place for me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, that's all I can remember right now. That's all I can remember right now. Um, anyways, so yeah, I've been reading from the New Living, learning about the translations and, um, how there is, there are translations that is thought for thought, word for word, um, and uh, paraphrases, which is interesting. Um, but I've been learning about that and never heard of it. I never really, I mean, I guess it's. You know, the Bible has been around for a long, long, long time, so I have not been a Christian um, for as long as the Bible, of course. So, um, yeah, since about 2006, 2007, when is when I gave my life to Christ. And um, um, 
So yeah, just learning about translations and what I need in a Bible. I have been looking around a lot. Um, I, if you have watched a video of mine from the past, I have talked about books and I love books. Um, I love to read and I feel like it's more, maybe more of a, um, I like the, the idea of it rather than actually, you know, I'm not a book nerd. I don't, I, I don't read all the time, but I do enjoy reading. I do enjoy books. I have a little bit too many actually that I own. Um, and, uh, Yeah, so I've been searching. I have gone to various bookstores around me where I live and I've been looking online and trying to really learn and I think the reason why I um, wanted to try something different is because I wanted something, well, a different looking Bible the exterior to be different. Um, I wanted, yeah, something more feminine. And, um, yeah, what else I was gonna say? Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Something more feminine. And I have, I have the New Living. Sorry. Yes, I have the New Living. I have the New King James. I have the New International. And I read out of all of them. The ones that I have, the new international, the new... It's over there, sorry, I'm looking over there. I have to think by looking over there. Um, new King James. I really like the New King James. I guess I just, I wanted, you know, something more different. And so, yesterday, I bought one that And this one is actually um, a study Bible, and I don't know why it's a study Bible. I don't know what makes it a study Bible, honestly. Um, yeah, so it's the New American Standard, the New American Standard, NASB study Bible, um, light for light. And I was searching and it's so crazy how pricey they are. Um, I was actually thinking of buying Bible tabs because I want it to be more this color right here. Be more feminine looking and color coloring and um but at the same time I'm actually hesitant in putting anything on and even highlighting like I want to highlight this bible things that reach out to, speak out to me reach out to me touch me etc um but since it's brand new to me I feel like I shouldn't maybe just yet I don't know I'm kind of like that. I don't like to really modify things too much to, or customize, I guess, customize, modify, um, my things because I like the original look of it. So I am planning to read, continue reading from Psalms through this Bible. New American Standard. So, I am planning to do a, what is it called, overhead, overhead where you guys are only looking at the Bible as I read it. So, let me know if you are into that. 
it'd be nice to do something different. I think it's relaxing and just to just be able to look at the Bible. I love physical Bible, I love physical CDs, I love physical books, I love like things that are I can touch because too much screen time for me lately and I'm trying to change that I'm trying to change that um yeah like journaling writing out scriptures really trying to grow in my faith and um getting in the word more sure though that heaven's a lot more colorful than this though heaven is a lot more colorful colorful plants colorful flowers trees yep. so I like this a lot praise you Jesus thank you that is really what I wanted to talk about for now um I'm like kind of nervous to soft speak because I don't want my voice to crack. <laughs> anyways, anyways, thank you for joining me for today's video. May God bless you in your sleep, in your day. And I'll see you again soon. I'll see you again soon. God bless you. forget to get in your word as well. Get in your word as well, my sisters and my brothers. We really, really need to get closer to the Father. Really get closer to Jesus and the Holy Spirit, like inviting him in into our lives. And more and more because people are drifting away from the faith and it, it breaks my heart. I've seen people that I've known for years, you know, drift away and it's heartbreaking. It's like a shock to me, but I know that's not a shock to God. God is not surprised. You know, it's like is expected. It's expected, but it is sad and we um, we do have to pray. I pray for those people that I see that backs that yeah backslide but just turn away turn away you know to you know live how they want to live and turn away from Jesus and they they've grown up they've um were raised in the faith, raised in the church, raised on the word of God. But this world is incredibly corrupt, but I don't want to say just corrupt, but it's so distracting. This world is so filthy and it really, really corrupts us. This world really corrupts us. I alone get distracted easily with too much screen time, you know, too much and I'm really trying to change that, really, you know like not walking away from God because I see how real he is and see how close he is how soon he is to return 
and people who lose their faith, who walk away, who, you know, the enemy really puts doubt, doubt in their minds, and I, I pray for those people, and we all need prayer, we all need Jesus, the more crazy and evil the world becomes, the more I see, I'm sure there's others that see as well, how much God is real and God is coming, God is good, and we desperately need Him. We desperately need Him not to walk away. We need to draw closer to Jesus. And, yeah, it's just... But don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not the kind of believer that is constantly on the mountain with God. You know, I'm not constantly on the mountain with Him. I have a lot of time in the wilderness, a lot of time, um, a lot of seasons, I should say, where I am um, down, you know, where I am uh, not doubting, but um, just distraction comes. That's what it is for me. It's distraction that pulls me away. Prayers for me always welcome. Prayers for me always welcome. I am praying for you as well. Because we are family after all. He's real. He's real. And it's just mind-blowing to me how God is coming, becoming real to people. Like, not becoming, but he's... People are coming to a point where, you know, God has to show himself. Like, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. We don't have time to play games. We don't have time to... play make-believe. We're not playing make-believe here. Jesus is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the beginning and the end. He's everything. He's the one and only that is true. He is the only one that is the way, the truth, and the life. No other person there's nobody else that we can go to to have fellowship with God, to get right with God. Only through Jesus Christ we can get right with God. So, and He does love us, but He is also a God of justice. He's also angry at sin. But he has compassion on us. He has compassion. That's why he reveals himself to people, even the people that mock him, even the people that reject him over and over. Like, he is always faithful. He's always faithful no matter what. So, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, because I didn't, my heart was not to say all of this. I wasn't planning to say all of this. I was just wanting to talk about the Bible. But I thank you, Father, for taking over. Thank you, Father, for taking over. And please continue to do so, Jesus. We praise you, Father God, for speaking. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. Jesus, precious, mighty, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you again. Thank you again, my sister, my brother, for joining me. Thank you, and thank you for listening. I hope that this touched you. Um, yes, so. Once again, I love you. Jesus loves you so much. <laughs>